Hi friendzonies, thanks for tuning back in to another Keeping It Real with Danny Steele. So in this video I want to talk about the struggle bond, the bonds that tie us. And why is it that when you come from humble beginnings, if you will, basically if you're not putting the people who you grew up with onto your same level, okay, even though most people don't have the means to do that, most people who grow up poor don't all, all of a sudden just become millionaires. But it's like, all of a sudden, people expect you to always be on their level. And if you're not, they basically try to bring you back down to that level. They don't want to see you thrive. They don't want to see you prosper. They don't want to see you put a little bit of money in the bank, have a little bit of savings. <laughs> you know? Um, it's like, why should you have savings if I'm still struggling? Well, because that's your story. Right. And I've noticed this, you know, it's across races. I've talked about it with people of other races and who feel, you know, they have a similar story, whether they come from a, a working class background, a middle class background, you know, they're trying to do something better for their lives. And the people who they grew up with in their lives, their family, what have you are like, well, hey, but, you know, give me some of what you got right now. Give me some of what you got. I'd like help too. give me some. Give me, you know, help me out. And it's like, but then I can't. I can't build a life that I want to build if I'm steadily giving to you. And I was talking about this with a friend the other day and I was like, it's really, it's like they're like, you know, it's like a scary movie. Oh, and you're like trying to work your way up to get a better life. And they're like, join us, join us. You know, it's like, join us in the struggle bond. You know, where, where are you going? This is where you belong. And, and, and I can help you stay here by like, unapologetically feeling entitled to what you have because you know we're from the struggle bond we've got this what about the struggle bond and it's like if you lose that bond with them like they don't want to fuck with you you know all of a sudden you're too good it's not like I, it's not it's not that i worked hard i just think i'm better out of nowhere off the top of the fucking sky we gotta stop doing that to people we gotta stop doing that to each other we gotta let people build a life for themselves if you, if you see someone have something more than you have and you grew up with them let them have it and, and i've seen this you know like i said not just with my own experience but also i've noticed this about uh the children of um immigrants okay so the 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 parents come here and, and again immigrants of all races the parents come here and i've seen very few who have actually because it's hard who've actually gotten, right, those upper middle class jobs where they were able to build some type of generational wealth for their child. So what they do is they put all the pressure on the children. Well, you've got to start the generational wealth. And that's very hard to do, especially now and today, today's day and age, it's very hard to do. You know, we don't have the luxuries that the baby boomers have. That's why they don't want to give them up. It's just really sad because there's just so much pressure on, you know, the Gen Xers I feel like particularly, you know, maybe even the millennials are starting to feel that same pressure to all of a sudden be the support system oh, and, and to be the ones to have it all. People make it look like it's just so plausible. Like it's so, it's so easy to attain and it's not, it's not easy to attain. It's not. So when you see somebody get something, let them enjoy what they've earned, what they've worked hard for. Ask them for advice. Let them be a, a, a model to how you live your life, but don't just put your hand out to take what they have. That's not fair. Um, but yeah, the struggle bond, I mean, it's, it's just insane. I can be united with you in our mutual childhood and our mutual experiences. I don't have to stay on the same social economic level that you're on to like appease you. If you don't like it, then, you know, I guess I guess it's deuces, but that, that's fine. I'll see you, see you when I see you. It, it's just absurd, and especially too, if you are, you know, keep in mind that usually these people who have their hands out to take from you had the same experiences and the same opportunities as you. Not the same opportunities that some upper middle class person would have had, but the same opportunities as you to get that. And they chose what they chose. And when you choose what you choose, and that's it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll definitely talk more about these issues. Let me know if there's any particular topics you'd like to talk about. And also somebody said something about me doing a Google Hangout, which I'd love to do. I'd love to go live with you guys, but I need more than just that one person because it'd probably just be me and her. So, you know, let me know more 
uh, in the videos in the comments if you'd like to do uh, a Google Hangout Live. And we can definitely uh, get on that. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. This is pretty much what I always look like anyways, so...